Hi everyone, as you can see I did already do some cardboard cutting. Here is some bulk cardboard. And the reason I'm doing this uh, again is because <clears throat> I forgot to press play. Now when I did that the edge has lost its shaving ability but it is still capable of cutting normal ATG in paper. Now the concentrate concentration of the work it's being done in this area and because of the slight tilt the blade has it's quite easy quite easy to do push cutting I still can't see any visual damage. Yeah, there's definitely some There's definitely some edge degradation that has taken place. However, this is not, to my knowledge, marketed as a highway steel, and this is also not a hard use knife, not marketed that way. It is just a user and in my opinion so far from this testing is it's holding up quite well I'll continue to use this and see how it performs so far I really like the design little to no hot spots really while doing this all these cuttings and doesn't feel very fatigued Knife still functions well. Thanks for watching.
Good morning everyone. <coughs> As you can see it's nice and wet here. Our part of the world. I'm going to do some stock testing. Some carving. With the test on FUBU. I still have not touched up the edge. And this is a piece of broom handle. I'm not really going to count the amount of cuts. I'll try and keep track. But... I have a sneaky suspicion this is going to take a while, so I'm not going to record all of it. I'm definitely going to try and get a nice pile of shavings so we can get an estimate. Still have not touched up the edge, so it still has a very high polished edge from this horn. And still can't see any form of chipping, rolling or anything on the edge itself just a decrease in shaving ability so I'll start, I'm probably going to try and carve up this entire piece of broom handle and as you can see it's quite old and also quite dry I am approaching 400 cuts There we go, that was the last 20 cuts of 400 Some odd spot there as well as there, but so easy to keep all the work in that section there. Small, small edge roll, but still. Still can't feel any. mix significant some resistance going through the printed paper but apart from being able to see one two Three very very small edge rolling. Nothing else wrong with the edge. Uh, this is all that remained of the broom handle. There's all the shavings. As you can see, it landed a bit all over the place. really enjoying this in Fubu so far okay Ja. 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 Ja.
Hi everyone. <coughs> I hope this is in frame. I can't really see. Um, the Nitro of 77 is pretty dull. So I can still cut foam with paper, but obviously not as well as it used to. Now, because this isn't a you know a high vanadium steel, I don't believe it is going to take a lot to touch up the edge. Just lightly going to de stress de stress the edge. very lightly not even with the weight of the blade wiping it off on the denim no issues whatsoever already starting to and that is on a course 320 grit diamond stone. Let's refine the edge quickly a bit. But definitely sharp enough already to easily cut that and let's see yep here popping sharp that way <coughs> and returned also a popping shop so so far my conclusion on nitro 77 is it sharpens as easy as h1 and it is probably as corrosion resistant as h1 i'm not going to be testing that sorry guys but it seems to have much more edge stability it tends not to roll or bend you know at the very edge that easily that's compared to my previous um, experiments with h1 of course this is going to be a long-term thing review of this knife so i'll keep updating this as it moves along in case thanks for watching some additional thoughts on the <clears throat> these on in Fubu a few <clears throat> mild observations the blade is sli slightly lower than the handle so uh, has a nice top blade so when cutting it's very similar to that of the Spyderco military with that design which is something I quite enjoy the 
Okay, you can see if he wants to focus. There's horn nitrope 77. And you can see some scratches on the blade. And the blade is perfectly centered. As well as the grind is also perfectly even on both sides. Cutting hard material um, like apples and potatoes it doesn't split, it doesn't crack open hard substances so the grind is, the grind is quite thin. And Dezorn says this is actually quite a robust grind for him. And it's the same, the blade is hollow grind, but it's pretty much the same thinness behind the edge up until you get to that point there. So you would have to remove all of that steel to see any significant edge thickening. Um, in my previous videos, I, you know, well, in the previous section of these videos, uh, one of the things I mentioned is I, I try to compare this to H1, but the more I use it, testing with different grits, the more it starts to feel like 52100 carbon steel. I mean it takes the same kind of polish, it takes the same kind of uh, aggressive edge and I find that quite interesting and quite enjoyable. It's like a, it's 52100 but it's can't corrode which is absolutely wonderful. Any case, thanks for watching.